Hey guys, this is Digital Darkness here. Today I will be showing you how to make a height map for a game called Feral Heart. Now this game called this game Feral Heart. Um, it's an animal game. You can be a wolf or a cat. Make your own custom maps. Just hang out. It's, it's really it's a really social game. It's really a lot of fun. I'm um, doing this as a tutorial as um, a favor, or well, yeah, to my mate Shade. So, hi Shade, this is Kekatan, and I hope you all enjoy this. So, I hope it's very informative. So, I'm going to use Photoshop, Adobe Photoshop, okay? Now, you can do this with a lot of other programs, those I may not know of, but there are basic settings that you will need to make a height map. Your width is going to have to be 513 pixels, so is your height. Now, see this color mode right here? Now, see, we cannot have that. It, um, we're not doing color. It's grayscale. It reads shades of gray. So we're going to go ahead and make sure, make sure you have the color mode. Whatever your color mode be, may be, just make sure you have something set to grayscale. It should obviously say color mode, but if it says RGB color and has a drop down menu, change it to grayscale. Okay, so once you have your little 513 by 513 square set to grayscale, you may start. So what we're going to do now is what I usually do is set a baseline, kind of like a ground level. You set a ground level. So like this. So I'm going to pick a nice little shade of gray there for my ground level. And uh, something to remember here is white. White is highest, black is lowest. The darker you go, the lower in the map you get. The higher you go, the higher in the map you get. So we're going to go ahead and make sort of a river here. So I'm going to pick up my little tablet because I'm not very good at using a mouse and just just make a little hole here. Just a little hole, like a lake. We're going to make a lake. Now today we're not going to be doing anything fancy like um, changing the settings. I'm just showing you how to make a height map. That'll be in later tutorials if I make them. So, um, endure with me. This is very careful. So we're going, so now we got this little hole, right? Got this little tiny hole. And that will be a lake. Now I'm gonna go ahead and maybe make some, Thing, some little rivers branching off, little lovely little rivers. They're so nice. Kind of looks like an octopus. All right. So now we're gonna go a little lighter. Okay. We're gonna go a little lighter. Now, if we're just going to do a little thing here, that'll be a hill, or somewhat. It'll be probably a very big hill. And we're gonna go all the way white. And we're going to go do this and that and this and that and this. And look, we have somewhat of a mountain. Now, it is if you want all your edges to be real smooth, like it goes down to water's edge, like a real shore, instead of just straight cut off like a cliff, like you're gonna fall off into nothingness, you're going to want to go do blur. You're gonna to want to go filters, blur, guillotine or this one. I don't know how to pronounce it. And you're not going to want to blur it how much I did. You're going to want to do about a four pixel blur. Now this makes everything smooth. I will show you the difference. So now we're going to save this. And we're just going to go into our feral heart folder. So yeah, we got a little uh, video game there. Don't forget what that was called. Feral heart. Um, shoot. Let's see here. Now, nah, excuse me if that was cursing to any of you. I'm, I apologize. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do smooth terrain. Now, it is vital that you save this as a PNG, .png. So save, because it won't read anything else. Now press OK. All right, I'm going to undo the Gear Assembler now. By don't pay any attention to this. this. That wasn't important what I just did. And I'm going to do jagged terrain. To show you guys the difference. All right now, PNG, save. Okay, wonderful. We got that now. So let's go up to Feral Heart. Oh, awesome. Little trees there. 
um, we're going to go to maps. Now, if I can remember what I named this, we're going to zoom out, 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 so you guys can see. Okay, and sometimes this will mess up, and your game will, in your game will crash. Just don't worry. Just start back up again. Try again. Usually, I try not to hit enter, but I write it in like this. Dot PNG and click another tab, right? So as you can see, I'm going to go ahead and set an ocean here just to make it obvious. We have a river. Oh, and look, look. Oh my gosh, there's a little hill right there. Look, look at the little hill, look how cute it is. Oh, and there's our big monstrous plateau. Bit, yeah, oh. See, that's why I didn't color it in all the way, that little jagged piece right there. So, as you can see, we got the jagged plateau. Now see how it just falls off like a cliff here? It doesn't smooth down to the water's edge. And that's what we're gonna fix in the smooth one. With gear assembler, smooth. See the difference? Smooth down to the water's edge. We could run up that very easily. It'd be, my suppose, fun. Jagged edge, oh no. We're stuck in a sort of ravine thing we can't get out. That's no fun. And as you can see, the black would be this bottom and out part right here. So ground level. This is ground level. Oh, perfect example right here. Ground level. Little higher up. Tallest. All the way down. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. And I hope I was clear enough. Um, subscribe, rate, comment. Um, any any questions you have, um, feel free to put in the comment box. I will answer them as soon as I can. And I hope you enjoyed, enjoyed this tutorial by Digital Darkness. And, well, see ya.